Hey guys, welcome back to some more Resident Evil Zero HD. Flare here. And... Last time we got the incinerator card, and I do not think I... Show where that goes. I have not... I don't have... No, no I have not even gotten into that room yet. <laughs> so we're gonna get over there, and this is how you get over there. We're gonna drop the ink ribbons, because we do not need them at all. We're just gonna leave them behind. So, we, as I mentioned in the uh, previous part, we are nearing the end of the game, and we solved the final puzzle, pretty much. And it wasn't a bad puzzle to get the incinerator card. First, we had to find those two chemicals, and one was located up beyond the place where you had to put the valve on the door. And the other one was in the uh, room where you needed the gondola to get over there. And you needed to combine those with industrial water. And, oh wait, Amphibia? Nope, didn't think so. <laughs> um, you needed to... The stuck point for me was that battery up there. I, I don't know if either I didn't see it or I didn't think to go close to it with... When you had two people there. I don't even remember if it says anything if you're by yourself. It probably does. But you need to uh, combine that with everything. To uh, make the high power battery, and then you had to know about the forklift there, but I'm sure you probably explored. And finally, I raised a box and grabbed the incinerator card. So, a uh, multiple things you had to do to solve that puzzle. And look at this place, this place is pretty cool. This is where the uh, sleuth, sleuth or sluice gates open, and now we it's drained the water here. Okay, if we don't see it here, I'm gonna eat my hat. This is where the most Common Amphibia jumps out. Get ready. And we're gonna have Billy on attack just in case something goes wrong. Come on. Yes! Yes! There he is! Oh shit! Oh! Jesus! No! Billy! Oh god. Oh! 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 Nice! One hit! Take that, you shy ass motherfucker! Oh, I guess you're not shy. There it is! There's the giant mutated frog known as Amphibia. If you don't break out of its tongue, it'll like kill you instantly. It'll like crush you and it'll eat you. It's. Honest to god, it should have been an achievement. <laughs> it really should have been. To get eaten by it, because I actually have not gotten eaten by it. Not on... I've only got eaten by it, like, one time on the old version. And it's... Considering that they're so freaking shy, it's not easy to exactly get eaten. And, uh, this is how you get to this room. With the, uh, rapidly moving motor engine thingy. And... Don't be too quick to go in here, there are two super zombies. Super naked zombies. Oh god. Thank god. Die! So... That's how we get back. That's where that... This is how you unlock the door. Okay. So really we were supposed to get Billy, come down here, and immediately we'd be right where Rebecca was. But no, I had to make things like really much, much more difficult. There's a box of shotgun shells that kind of laying sideways on the floor, and here's where you place the incinerator card. Yes. Throw it away. Oh, thank god I saw that amphibia. I would have been kind of mad. I probably would have just recorded eventually when I saw one on another playthrough, and just freaking showed it off. So yeah, if you want to see someone get eaten by an amphibia, just look it up. Because I did. And I just went back to grab those herbs. It's really helpful at that point to have a, a partner teaming up with you. <laughs> Thank god that thing died in one hit. Oh my god. Okay, so... Now we're in like this... I don't know, man. This is like some kind of weird-ass hallway. But it's outside. 
This, this can't be good. It, honest to god, we need an incinerator card? This must be the incinerator! Of course. All prepared, let's go! I'll go alone. Roger. Welcome, young one. So glad you have joined the party. You are the guests of honor. After all, it's your wake. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Dr. Marcus? No, you can't be. What's going on? <laughs> Ten years ago, Spencer had me assassinated. Take over your research. <laughs> Wesker Birkin. However, something wondrous happened. It took the T virus inside of my queen years to procreate my new life. I live. Now I will have my revenge on Umbrella, and the world will burn in an inferno of hate. <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done. We'll see which one of us is gonna die. Run, run, run. Oh god, run, Rebecca. Oh my god, okay. I got away. Sometimes that don't work. Anyway, go back here and pick up these magnet bullets for starters. And get the magnum out and have the other person on attack mode and ready to fire with whatever they've got. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, shit. Oh god, oh god. Ah, damn it. Why? Why did I freaking reload in game like that? In action. Oh, God. I uh, can't get out of it. Um, okay. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Really? He's a powerhouse, man. Ah. <sighs> okay. She's gonna throw Molotovs. Now that I realize that I have to do this. You don't always want to blow ammo, but... Oh my god. You have to sometimes. Here we go. Oh god. Uh. Okay, run. Run, Rebecca. Run! Damn it! Damn it! Oh god, she didn't get grabbed. Thank god. Alright, wait till she gets near, because you can't exchange otherwise. Well, I don't need to exchange. <laughs> but if you wanted to... Go! Go! Do it! Die! Oh my god, he's down. He is really tough sometimes. That's it! Dr. James Marcus or... I don't know, man. What the fuck? Wow. So, the T-Virus inside of this queen 
I guess he swallowed that? Or what? I don't know, but this is bizarre as hell. Um... He... I guess... That was the young Dr. Marcus? Well, before he became a doctor, maybe, so that just... Gives his body youth, man. Doesn't mean we can't put holes in him with the Magnum, holy shit. But now do you see why I save all my good ammo? That guy is an absolute beast. He takes a lot to bring down. And his attacks hurt. And we're gonna grab the shaft keys that somehow appeared. I don't know if they fell out of them or something, I don't know. First, we're going to, now that he's gone, we're gonna just check out this incinerate, incinerate, incinerator room. I'll show you all the details here. Pretty cool, and you can see that there is, there are leeches just everywhere, and they're actually all moving. Pretty creepy and gross at the same time. And actually, after other playthroughs, you only need to have one character open the way to this room, and the other one immediately gets teleported. So that's a pretty in pretty nice thing to know. I'll go check over there. Okay. Also, the fact is, you definitely want to start shooting the enemy as soon as this battle starts, and have your character set on attack. And have them attack with something like powerful like the acid rounds, and have me attack with the Magnum, both are way faster than Molotovs, and you can take the boss down pretty easily that way. But you gotta have the ammo for it. So now we're gonna activate both of these shaft keys at the same time to open this door. And you could tell which side needed what by examining it. You might actually be able to see it without examining it, but it's kinda hard to see and What's this? The game is not over, but we killed Dr. Marcus. But as you can see, there's a freaking typewriter. And here's your final stock up. That's right, we're not done. Hmm. Here comes final preparation time. I wish it wouldn't have some weapons take up two slots. Oh man, it's just... Ugh. That's also what makes weapons like the Magnum and Molotov so good. So, the game is definitely giving us a chance here. At least with the health. They don't give us too much ammo here. They give us a box of shotgun shells and regular grenades. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to try to make the best of out of this. I did not take the shotgun with me. Don't really need it. Honestly, you don't. I've got plenty of ammo to finish the game. Just going to combine that, and we're going to try to ration out the herbs and recovery items. With the boat characters, and we're going to grab the ink ribbon, and we're going to save it, of course. This is the final typewriter. It is time to end this mess. But I thought it was already over. You know it's never over. Come on. Not in Resident Evil. It ain't like that. It's gotta be more epic. So, next time we will freaking end this shit. Alright, I'm all prepared. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're going to end it. Honestly, I think we're going to. I think it'd be for the best. So, yeah. I will see you guys on the next part. Later.